live to San Francisco, where Leo Jax has the story. Yes, Claire. It's hard to believe that half of San Francisco is in ruins today, following the most devastating and the most baffling event in our nation's history. Uh, it's, it's a horrific situation here. Thousands are dead. Many are missing. It's, it's hotels, hospitals... Bring up the power grid. The whole West Coast is out. That means we're going to have to suck up just about every drop of juice east of the Rockies to fire destiny. Another EM spike? We're not going to have enough power. General, you have got to give them more time. There is no more time, Colonel. Today we're going to be talking about the distinguishment between a CME, which is a coronal mass ejection, and an EMP, which is an electromagnetic post efficiency that has the capabilities of shutting down a whole biotonic electrical grid node on the planet. Now, a CME has the same capabilities, but it's more predicated around the orchestration of galactic law and order through the metaphysical principles of the universe, which is the personification of divine retribution. So you're basically talking about the science of the unknown, which is prophecy, which is the precursor and the foundation to eschatology, the science of the end times, right? So with all that shit being said, the ancient souls of the ancestors is the frequency and the electromagnetic conduit that's encapsulated inside the biological structure of humans. Like, for example, the ancient souls of Egypt, the ancient souls of Atlantis, the ancient souls of Shambhala, the ancient souls of the Anunnaki, the ancient souls of the black people who died during the time of slavery. When they died, their soul was extracted to the sun and projected back down on the planet as a form of a solar flare. Right, so this is why you get DNA activations. This is why you get premonitions. This is why you get downloads. That's because the ancestors is working through you to where you reap the benefits of spiritual atonement because you are a light body trapped inside of a light prison, which is a prison because earth is a prison planet. Because when you break down the etymological roots of the word vitamin, it means vitality, amen, ra. Ra is the sun to where you uh, receive intrinsic light code transmission from the sun to activate the carbonated melanated biological structure which connects you to the source which is the sun that activates the non-ether genetical properties you see what i'm saying so this is where it activates the junk dna such as intuition psychometry clairvoyance uh telepathy that's because it's activating uh the neural synapses which is basically in alignment to the akashic records the tree of life uh which is all throughout your dna Right. So, like I said, the ancestors is basically working through you through those intrinsic light codes. Right. So let me get my screen share going. You got. Uh, you got these light codes, you know what I'm saying? The charged particles. Hold on for a second. You got the charged particles that basically is infiltrating the magnetosphere. And once it in infiltrates the magnetosphere, it'll basically uh, deplete the whole electrical grid node on the planet. Because when you not understand the science of wordology, the word electricity has the word try in there. Try is a compilation of three things, which governs the third dimension, which is people, places, and possessions, right? The illusionary vetted simulation of a Luciferian system. So now, like I said, the grid node can be depleted. So everything they do in technology is an emulation of everything in nature. So an EMP has the same capabilities. They're both synonymous, but a CME is more predicated upon uh, uh, prophetic intrinsic light codes to activate the 144,000 who are the chosen ones. An EMP is based on a, a, a frequency modification that can infiltrate uh, the ionosphere that uh, creates the subatomic particles which also creates the illusionary world to where you can only see things with your physical eye and not your spiritual eye, right? So these charged particles, once they infiltrate the magnetosphere, it will basically uh, deplete the third dimension because you're going from a third dimensional frequency to a fifth dimensional frequency. So everything that's uh, predicated upon 
uh, going to, going against nature, it would be destroyed. So uh, I'm going to show you a picture. Let me get to it. Now, this EMP is basically uh, the trajectories of uh, ionization and the ionized particles is what creates the subatomic particles because like I said, those charged particles in the ionosphere is what makes you see things with the physical eye to where it keeps you acclimated on the uh, on the low vibrational frequency of uh, subjugation to so meaning that you're bounded on the frequency of time because time is the element and the provider for physical life which puts the body in retrograde, retrograde right? So the geometric lines in the firmament is what keeps you acclimated to the matrix. So when you got the fifth dimensional earth, the frequency, these charged particles is basically going to deplete the whole grid. It's going to shut everything down to where you can't uh, operate any type of uh, uh, vehicles after 1975. You cannot use any type, any form of technology on the planet because the solar winds is basically depleting everything. So you won't be able to use anything as far as technology once these uh, corona mass ejection, which is colossal plasma energy that's hitting the planet. Now, when you hear the phrase that the revo that the uh, revolution won't be televised, that is a motherfucking, you know, that's a fact, that's a prophecy because they know that the intrinsic light codes is basically the personification of the souls that once lived on the planet who died. So like I said, it's going to activate you based upon the non uh, the non ether genetical properties, right? So we're going to go. So now, you know, this is in alignment to the Great Reset as well. Now the Great Reset, you know what I'm saying? In order to usher in a technocracy, this whole system has to be shut down because it's not going to be one of those things where uh, they're not going to be like, hey, you're going to have to have, uh, you got two weeks until we get rid of the American dollar. You know what I'm saying? Because the American dollar is not, uh, it doesn't have any type of intrinsic value because it hasn't been backed by a natural, a natural resource since 1934, right? So it's not backed by any type of gold, no type of oil or anything like that. So in order to usher in a technocracy, they have to shut the whole system down. So that's why the elite, uh, they make their decisions based on the astro astrological alignments of the planets to where they can hide prophecy. So that's why, like I said, everything they have in technology is an emulation of everything in nature. So they can basically uh, subjugate you mentally so where you can't be see beyond the illusion, right? So now, you know, in, uh, in order to get intuitive understanding of the DNA activations, because I told you, the biological structure of the carbonated body is an electromagnetic generator and a light code transducer. So like I said, it's gonna, it's gonna connect you to the source, which is full spectrum solidified, right? Full spectrum light solidified. So, cause light is intelligence and light is basically personification of carbon, which is the building block of all civilization. So when you're in alignment with the source, based upon your mentality, you know what I'm saying? You'll be able to reap the benefits of having these uh, these DNA activation, activations, the intrinsic uh, metaphysical abilities that's activated by the hippocampus layer of the brain, right? So now, you know, uh, this is also in alignment uh, to the reason why Senate, you know what I'm saying? They made uh, daylight savings time permanent. Why is that? Now, why would they do that? That's because they know that we're living in a time where the planet is gonna be at solar maximum. Because the last time, uh, history repeats itself. The last time we was in this type of verification period is when you had the uh, the 1918, uh, what was that, Spanish flu happen. And then the precursor to that was uh, uh, the fucking economic crash, the Great Depression. And in order to revitalize the system, you have to have a war war. So this is basically synonymous to everything that's going on. So you're in a perpetual state of a loop that's go governed by a three-dimensional frequency, but they're not going to be able to reap the benefits of uh, putting people in a form of mental subjugation because 
the firmament is being depleted by the fifth dimensional frequency because during that time period we weren't at a we weren't acclimated to a to 5d and uh fourth dimensional earth so now i'm going to show you how uh they make these movies and everything everything is predicated upon prophecy they have to talk they have to show you the truth in order to uh balance out their karma on the planet so i'm going to show you a, a clip of the movie it's a trailer that's about to come out uh made by jordan peele and he's actually talking about uh, a fifth dimensional frequency hitting the planet and the intrinsic light codes that's activated uh by nibiru who are the anunnaki so once they enter the they infiltrate this uh this magnetosphere that basically depletes everything on the planet to where you're going to see in the video all the elect all electrical uh forms of technology you won't be able to use it. everything in the system shuts down in totality once once light hits a dimension it can reverse the polarity of time due to the octave ethers uh being activated in this infrastructure so basically you know, time is basically an artificial construct. So when the bureau comes in, when they when they beam up the chosen ones, like she's getting beamed up, it can reverse the polarity of time because time on their planet, one day in the on uh in the bureau or planet risk is actually a thousand years. So actually you're talking about rapture, which you got the word rod now. Because I told you the light code transmission is based upon uh the signs of the words you got rapture ra which is the sun vitality amen ra which is the sun the light code transmission so she's being activated it was not activated she's being beamed up based on the genetical properties of who she is because like i said carbon is basically in alignment to magnetism right and the viru is a big ball of energy which is the uh because it has its own solar system as well So it was imperative that I get off this transmission because uh, we live in a time to where people don't understand the, uh, they can't decipher the delineation the, the between what's real and what's fake. So uh, I had to put out this transmission in order for people to see beyond the illusion because uh, during the course of time, when these governmental powers, when, when things is gonna start shaking up on the planet through uh, military weaponry and frequency modification and all these uh, these governmental powers in these countries are going to be fighting they're going to try to say certain things that's based upon an EMP when really it was a coronal mass ejection which is the plasma energy on the planet raising the planet up to a fifth dimensional frequency to where it depletes the whole grid node so that's how you see beyond the illusion because like I told you everything they have in technology is an emulation of everything they have in nature so that's the polarity of the third dimension that keeps you in a perpetual state of being uh, acclimated to the illusionary world. So please get this video out there, uh, share this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Conflicts with the detrimental instability. Hitherto four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? The unification of Congress, excuse me, condoms demystifying the squalor of profanity regurgitating over and over again here let me digress my bowels for a minute and right to the front the nondescript hernia rectifies the miscommunication of fetal or fecal depending on where your head is at reading is fundamental so let's write do not be persecuted by the pompous fedora balanced by the equilibrium fortified by the government's inability to eradicate or foreshadow taken from the hebrew word for skin 